Hey y'all, my name is Danny Cobalt, and welcome back to Life is Strange, episode 2, 2 out of 4. I'm really excited. I know I'm a couple days late for this. I know it came out over the weekend, and it's going to be Wednesday when you see this, but still, I'm getting to it. It was a busy weekend. I had to sleep for like forever because I was just dead tired. But all of that aside, we are into episode 2, and cross fingers that it does not glitch like it did at the end of the last episode. I really hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't because that was just weird. And I know that there is copyright songs in here, which doesn't really matter for me anymore because my channel is small enough now that things have changed and there's no revenue, which is fine. But it also means I don't Previously, have to worry as much. Unlike okay. strange okay. before the storm. Shh. No! Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. Okay, cutscene's over. I might cut out that. It was just a recap. Literally, that's all it was. Um, but it's totally glitched, and I don't want to keep that in. But this part isn't glitched, so that's very good. These are still cutscenes, so I'm glad that these aren't messing up. What is happening? Oh, hi, Rachel. Miss Price, Where am I? There how I am. good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My my shift ran late at the diner and then just sorry. <laughs> Let What's us proceed. On? One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the <laughs> other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. <laughs> Yesterday did actually happen. Everything burned down? I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Right. Are you paying attention to me, <laughs> Chloe? Um, nope. What? <laughs> Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Nope. Oh, um, where's her nose? Oh, oh, it's the laws. A. Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. I'm sure we agreed that. We did. <laughs> In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite wow. all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. Excuse me? The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be Thanks, talking Mom. to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. Of it will be handled separately. Because he's on and the football Chloe's situation team. is less sensitive? <laughs> I do not discuss other students' situations. 
We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. <laughs> um, let's, I don't know. We want to stay at Blackwell, so we'll... Principal Wells. Are we actually going to be nice? I okay. know this looks bad. Thank you for your validation, Miss Price. May I continue? With your permission? <laughs> okay, that didn't do too well. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because <laughs> you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. You gonna say anything here, what Rachel? What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This oh. is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made do it. What? 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 <laughs> Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm sure. just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Aww. Can you forgive me? Of course, we gotta play along. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. <laughs> Chloe, How? is this true? It's true. Totally not true. <laughs> she really is an amazing actress. Miss <laughs> Price? Yeah. Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. <laughs> Ray. Of course it's not. Just to Dad. be clear, Miss Amber. You're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or coerce her? <laughs> I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. <laughs> Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Um, let's just enjoy the show. You We're have not no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, this might be going Ms. a little far, Mom. Price. Mrs. Mom? Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, yeah. Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've <laughs> just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. Surprise, surprise. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. Oh, go away. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And uh -oh. you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. What? That's not fair. No. That's not fair. Um, the performance is tonight. What the performance is tonight? For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since Who's going to take her place? first infraction? Don't Mr. You think, Amber, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please <laughs> don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Oh. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. Uh oh. 
That is such What was that, Miss Price? <laughs> Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Do I have anything to add? Um. Oh no. If we take the blame, Rachel's just gonna be mad at us. She's the one who chose to take it. So. Uh, I kind of want to do the mini game, but. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I think we should go along with Rachel on this one. As much as I don't want her to be punished. <sighs> no. Nothing to add. I'm glad. Though Chloe may not good. have been the mastermind of yesterday's events, it was, as I prefaced, the proverbial last straw. In light of your many past transgressions, I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. Oh, no. But it was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly. But that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. I am truly sorry it has come to this. But Chloe will have the chance for reinstatement in the fall. Her actions, beginning now, will be weighed heavily in that decision. Do you understand me? Both of you. <laughs> understand this. Yeah. I mean, as much as I ever do. <laughs> Chloe? We understand, Mr. Wells. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. <laughs> you may wait outside my office until he arrives. Skip Matthews? Did you just skip over him? That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. <laughs> Come on, Chloe. I hope we didn't chip anything by not taking the blame, but I don't care who I screw things up with as long as it's not Rachel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. Yes! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. <laughs> we really yeah, should sure. be going. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, creepy skip. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. <laughs> hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, skip. You know I was supposed to have today off, right? <laughs> Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. <laughs> Character arm models are a little weird. I don't remember if they were like that in the first episode. I don't episode. really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. <laughs> Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Okay, now we get to look around. Let's look at the homework. Whoops. Love how every time someone Whoa. tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. <laughs> Is there a short... Oh, I don't want that. Is there a shortcut to go back? I don't know. I'd like a button rather than just having to click here every, each time. All right, let's just trash our homework. Since we don't need it. <laughs> do 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 Oh, look at the photo! Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. Oh my gosh! Chloe! No wonder you're damaged. Poor girl. I'm so glad I have that shirt for her, though. I love that shirt. Aww. Poor Chloe. All right, what do we got? Ooh, look at this. What's this thing? Wonder who will grace this space after me. Sign it. Uh, 
Oh, that sound. Oh, no. Don't like squeaky. Almost. <laughs> okay, no, I don't want to look at that. I want to look at this. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Maybe Chemistry? Chem was the class I hated the least. Should probably take that with us. Is she gonna chuck it? I knew she'd chuck it. <laughs> Let's look at the doodles. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. <laughs> All right, we got geometry. Hmm. If Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? <laughs> oh, Chloe. <laughs> bye bye homework <laughs> he doesn't say anything uh let's just trash this i don't need all the dialogue on all of the, the books Ooh, what's this absolutely positively the best concert of 2008 too bad it's time to go i don't know who that is i don't think it's supposed to be anyone but why do we gotta trash it take it with you take it with you chloe Hanging up in your awesome room. Finally. What I actually came here for. <laughs> A hole in the wall. Bobby, your locker is really dirty. <laughs> yeah, you don't look suspicious Jackpot. at all. Yeah, just stand Man. there holding it. What the hell? What? Damn, Damn it, dude. Justin. <laughs> Chloe, hey, I had to borrow your stash. Desperate times, you know? I promise I'll get you get it back to you next week. <laughs> Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... You want to do it while he's watching you? <laughs> uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Mm-hmm. I want her necklace. I really do. It's so cool. I love bullets. Whoa, music! Hokey smokes! I love the soundtrack in this game. Yeah, sure, you're getting back in after that. Is that Max? <laughs> oh, that's where the butterfly was. What are you doing? You're gonna break the sink. You're gonna smash your head. I would love to just have a room in my house that I could just do that. I used to do it on my bedroom walls, but... What you writing in the toilet? What's up there? Nice! Rachel or not Rachel uh, oh my gosh what's her name oh my gosh what's her name the glitch with the B from game one uh, Victoria oh my gosh thank you I think it is Victoria she looks a little different in this game but I'm pretty sure that was her I like the wind I like the wind what the way they do it in this game just like streaks every now and then whoa hello Sasquatch just spying on everyone Thanks, Skip. Later, Skip. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Later. Uh-oh. We're gonna get here. Is that David? Looks like David's here. 
<laughs> awesome. Okay, how do we... It's tab, right? Another letter to Max. And it's here. That I'll never send. Aww. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. When did you decide you were done with me? I mean, how did you know it was time to move on? I ask because Rachel and I have decided we've done... We're done with this town. We've had it. It's bye bye bay. But instead of just ghosting it like someone I know, we're gonna leave a trail of destruction in our wake. For Rachel, that means burning a forest down. I know, crazy. But guess what? I'm pretty crazy too. I'm not unrelated news. In, in not unrelated news. Finally got suspended from Blackwell. And Rachel got booted from her play, which strangely sucks even worse. Oh my gosh, look at that ghost! It's adorable. I love the Jane Doe shirt. That's so cool. Um, I should probably be more upset about being in a high school dropout, but I'm not. She's not a story. Yeah, burning bridges, literally and academically. That's how you make an exit woman. Chloe the exit wounder. Okay. Yeah, we're coming, Mom. Um, I'm fine. Hold on. Let me go up to the top. Are these all new? These can't all be new. Okay, glad we talked to me too. I know you're doing your best. Love you. Your school called. I think you know why. We have a meeting tomorrow with Principal Wells. I need to do better. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. I'm worried about you. Please let me know you're okay, okay? Did you hear there's a fire? Please text me. Chloe, are you okay? Chloe, I'm fine. Um, come home by curfew. <laughs> Poor mom. Just push all her buttons. Chloe, you can't keep doing this to me. I'm trying my best. Aw, poor mom. How do we go back? Oh, back. Hey, <laughs> hey. Uh, we have a new one from Elliot. Um, where does it start? Right here. Did you get Wells' text about fire? You okay? Yeah, you? Yep, yeah, just in my room. Hey, after Tempest, you want to hang out? Sorry, I don't think I'll be there. A, B. Oh, that's. That's the wildfire alert. Yep, yeah, cool. Okay, where does this one start? From Rachel. Um, I don't know if we've ever read text from Rachel, so it might be all the way at the top. Yep, still flashing. Okay. Made it into my house without seeing either of your my parents. Sweet. You were born to be a spy, jumping out of trains. Oh man, we'd make such a great team. No en enemy viewfinder would ever be safe from you again. Meanwhile, you're deep undercover as a passed out person. <laughs> Today was unforgettable. Some of it sucked. Aww. No, it doesn't suck? What? You! Aww! You also don't suck. Oh, they suck you! I know. <laughs> nice, Rachel. We should probably sleep. We've got Wells tomorrow morning. Yeah, my fault. Worth it. Well, blows. That meeting hella sucked. You're hella weird. You are. Seriously, we'll get revenge. Don't know how I like the sound of that. Why is Wells messaging us? Oh, this is just about the fire. Uh, yeah, it's just about the fire. Not anything important, and we have no new ones. Okay, what's this? Oh, just the pictures. You have James and Rose? Okay, awesome. I don't need anything else here. Okay, what are you? Max would have loved this shit. Because of a generous grant, offering several new courses, visual contacts, intradic- blah, 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 blah. Ooh, photography. Awesome. Is there anything else to look at? Can we just, like, walk away? <laughs> I highly doubt that. Oh yeah, hold shift. Yay, finally a game I can run in. Can I look at the pothole? Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. <laughs> yep, I'm sure that's exactly what they'll use it for. What's the sticker say? What's the sticker say? My other vehicle <laughs> is drama. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria's, isn't it? Oh, no, Lydia Byron's, right? Isn't she an actor? Oh my gosh, it says life is... Oh, life is a stage. I thought it said life is strange on the bumper sticker. Hi, it's about Mommy. about damn time. David, please. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment. Which, of course, just makes this worse. I'll handle it. Uh-huh. Chloe? After today, 
What? Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Um, can we do this at home, not can in the school parking lot? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? This Aww. isn't a fight, Chloe. It's a conversation. Remember that. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. She's my mother. If my mother oh. has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe yeah. if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. David, that's out of line. You yeah, weren't with us in there. Chloe was treated unfairly. Now you're making excuses for her? Chloe needs to take responsibility. I decide what Chloe needs, not you. <laughs> That's right smirk. now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? I'll Yo. just say we had a rather oh, frank discussion. <laughs> to put it lightly. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. So this is going to be one-sided, David. You expect an apology from me, but you're not going to apologize at all? <sighs> Half the time, I have no idea whether I should just go with what Chloe does or what I should. But for right now, we're going to defuse the situation. Are we? Nah, why not? David doesn't like us anyway. Are you like still going to date my mom? Of course. That's probably a bad idea. And will you still be coming to our house? I... <laughs> Plan to. He's like, where is this Can going? I say, go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. <laughs> oh, look so David, shocked, Chloe. Do you really think now is the right time? Joyce, please. We must be a united front. <laughs> Mom. Chloe, oh yeah, like she's going to be empty on your, your side. pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What she doesn't have fuck? a joint. If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you saw how I was treated in there. Now you want to treat me the same way? I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. It's always about what David we feels. feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. See, things like that, yes, he is... Well, we don't have a joint. We might as well comply. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? He is dating our mom, but... He's still, like, he's still her boyfriend. And we don't know how long he's been living here at this point. Okay, we do have some stuff. Smokes. <laughs> Chloe. You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Oh, David. <laughs> Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Um. I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. <laughs> I knew it goes that way. I just worry about you. 
But that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Oh no. <laughs> no fucking way. Chloe, <laughs> after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Need a firmer hand, but not a general. He's not trying to be a dad, he's trying to be a surgeon. Um... Mom, I... I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you, and you need me, and... I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not <laughs> choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. So I don't think David's a bad dude. He's just... I don't know if he's father material. And he never tries to apologize for anything. Hey! <laughs> there is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. Sure she will. <laughs> that dude stayed out of her path. <laughs> Who was that? Was that Elliot? I couldn't tell. <laughs> he was going to talk to her and he was like, Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm just going to back away. Oh no, did it crash? No, it didn't. Okay. Good. So my Wi-Fi's gone. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? It looks rather comfortable. Minus the neck. <laughs> hey, a little weird headed looking at stuff like that. Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? I would love a junkyard like that near our house. Or just like a abandoned place like that. There's some places around here, but they're not nearly that cool. Q Rachel? Or Q Smashing? Is that just a random truck? Is that her truck? That's the one she has in the first game, Ugh. isn't it? <laughs> That's a corroded battery. 
This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Sure we can, Chloe! What's mommy saying? Um... Where does it start? Um, right here. Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks is best. <laughs> I don't like that he asked you to empty your pockets, and then you were completely innocent. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. Maybe I just need space. Maybe I need my daughter back. Aww. We can't hurt mommy, Chloe. We have to be good to mommy. Oh. No. Not going over there. <laughs> surprise, surprise! Alright, let's see if we can look around. It's kind of a weird view with her being off to the left. Let's climb the boat. Hmm. <laughs> Get a good vantage point, eh? <laughs> Just straight up. Come on, Chloe, you got it. Use those muscles! Or not. Damn, you cigarettes. <laughs> Damn, you weak arms. How about that? Ooh, there's a toy robot. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. <laughs> okay, let's go this way. I assume... Ooh, there's a radio. That's not going to give us a car battery, but... We get some music, maybe? Not so much my music, but still pretty cool. There's a pirate flag. What's this pirate flag? A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. Aw, it makes me think of Max. Okay, can I turn this off now? Thank you. It's just annoying now. A smut mag. Okay, I don't think we need to look at that. Um, I don't think there's anything out here. A punning green! You're a long way from the country club, guy. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's anything over here. Let's go back over where we were. We gotta find a good car. Are you a good car? No? You're not a good car? Okay. Um, I don't know if there's just gonna be one sitting on the ground, or if we actually have to dig it out of the car. Leave no trash box unopened. <laughs> That's my it's, motto. It's not unopened. The lid's off it. What is that? What is it? I didn't get to see what it was. Is it in here? Uh, what did I take? I don't know what I took! I don't know what it actually was of. Oh, here we go. Oh no, that's my objective. I thought it's an object. Okay. The bat's there, the truck's there. Okay, we're going this way. There's a mannequin head, we don't need to worry about that. There's not much over here, but we'll just hop skip over here. Don't want to leave yet. Oh, okay. Got it! <laughs> yeah. Am I controlling you yet? Okay, there we go. Ooh, can we pull something out of the school bus? I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. Probably not the way things are going. The beach towel. You're a long way from the beach. So are you, Chloe. Oh, is there something in this truck? Looks pretty new. Why don't you just take this truck, Chloe? Actually, the other one's nicer. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? Yeah, why is it here? Like, you'd think that someone what would fix it rather than- What are hide under their hood? <laughs> Can you open it? Let me guess, I need to pull the button. That makes sense. <laughs> I 
Most of the time you have to do that, Chloe. Why is that guy still in the corner of my screen? Why? It's like an Elvis bobblehead. Battery? Battery. <laughs> Can you shoot, guy? I don't want you here. Here we go. The pick of the litter. I like the writings on her hand, even when it's not, you're not looking at it. It's cool. Awesome. Can I... How do I... How do I actually view my inventory? Shush, people. Um... I don't have a page two. These are... Episodes. Those are pictures. I don't know how I actually view my inventory. I don't know how to get rid of that guy. But whatever. We'll go put the battery back in here. Hup, hup, hup. Run, run, run. Run over the... Here we go. Oops. That's... Did I hit this? I see I did. Bam. Nice and gentle, Chloe. Or not. Probably want to, like, WD-40 the entire thing, too. Careful! Don't kill yourself, Chloe! <laughs> I would love to have the time and the training to fix up a truck like that. Let's go for a joyride! Screwdriver. Not the drink. Screwdriver. Screwdriver! There you go! You got it, girl! Did you even hook up the battery? <laughs> Probably needs yeah. gas. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. <laughs> Singing man. What did I just... Oh. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good oh, good. Talk. He's out of our inventory. <laughs> okay. Hello. It's just you and me, you tiny weirdo. It is a little creepy. Those seats don't Probably look good. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Yeah! I'm really hoping those are rips, as well as this. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Yeah! Probably a good idea. Oh yeah, someone, uh... I bet if I look, I can find something else to fix inside the truck. Oh, okay. Can we fix the seat? No. What what else? Oh, the broken bulb. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Sure. Another treasure hunt. But I have to What? Can I leave now? Okay. So we gotta find another bulb? Right? Okay. That is our objective. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. Yeah, for find more of the fix. Um, who called us or texted us, I mean? Rachel. Um Where are you? Where's the top? Chloe Price. I don't suck. You really, really don't. My mom thinks I do. Don't know if I can stand going home tonight. Still there? Grabbing something from home. Then I'll meet you at the junkyard. See you really soon. You better. Aw. They're so cute. Okay, where would we get a light bulb? Hmm, let's wander back over here. Oh, maybe from the sign? Is there still a light bulb in here? Maybe Max not. and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? I thought maybe there would be a light bulb in that sign. Um, oh, perfect! That's what I want. You might not work. Then again. I hardly ever work. <laughs> Is that a light bulb? It doesn't look like a light bulb. 
Why does she have a red long light bulb? It looked like some kind of adapter. Oh, a light bulb. But whatever. I'm not one to judge. Let's just fix this. Can I open it? Can I open the front truck door? Thank you. Alrighty. Time to fix this light. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. There we go. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Weird, but cool. How do you know it works? How do you know it even I've works, seen Chloe? The light. And it's awesome. What are you talking about, Chloe? Um Oh, we need to find things for all of these. I get it. I thought you were just looking for the light bulb. So you need to find something to cover the floor and cover the seat. Oh, beach towel. Where's the beach towel? It's over here. I keep bumping into stuff and losing my runnies. Can we take this to cover the seats? This could cover that torn seat. Yeah. And look awesome doing it. Yeah, yeah. And what have we seen that could cover baseboard syringe? Here's the side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. <laughs> um, I haven't really been over here yet, so there could be... Oh, placemat, maybe? Maybe not. I used to love opening up the diner with Mom before school. Aww. I guess those days are now officially over. No, they're not. Well, they probably are, but... Doesn't mean Mommy doesn't love you, Chloe. Okay, what's around here? There's not much over here. Okay, what do we see way back? We saw the pirate flag. <gasps> Maybe we can put that on as well. That would be awesome on the seat. That would look super cool. Ah, don't get stuck. Um, I don't remember seeing anything else like flat like that. Oh, that's Dad's car. I'm not gonna get any good commentary out of that. Um, magazine. A fire poker. I know one fire that doesn't need any <laughs> poking. Yeah, you and David should probably stay out of it, Chloe. Can we take this? No. A pirate flag. I wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> you should have taken that. Take that to help cover the seat. Um, what else can we use though? I thought that placemat would help. Maybe there's something over here? There's posters. No, this is a vortex club. I wouldn't mind joining. <laughs> Communism, atheism. Nice. Um, oh, Christmas lights. Christmas lights. You gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. <laughs> oh, Chloe. Are we going to go into that little, uh, secret, uh, clubhouse? Ooh, rug. Will this work? It's not very strong looking, but... Today, you begin an exciting new life as a floor mat. Enthralling, Chloe. Commentary could get some work done on it. Okay, let's go back around here. Ooh, what's that? I can't even tell what it is. Sorry, tape? Max. Oh, camera. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Aw, poor Chloe. Oh, wait, can I get over here? Okay, good. Let's fix up this truck. I think we have everything we need. For now. <clears throat> Sweet! Nice, Chloe. Looks good. Toss that rug down there. Why don't you just open the other door, Chloe? Seriously. <laughs> nice. Little hole still, this but. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. <laughs> Probably drives like one, too. That's if it ever does drive. 
which seems questionable. <laughs> Still, how sweet would that be? Rachel? Yeah? Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some <laughs> business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. Okay. And Frank? Um... I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? The fire's still going. I'll see you soon. Is this is about the dude. I really hope this isn't about the dude we smashed. <laughs> nice boots, Chloe. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Horn. Horn. <laughs> I like that. Let's grab one of those. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought I could keep looking at stuff. I don't like the seat cover. I mean, it's cool enough. But I'm not into tie-dye that much. Rainbows, yes. Tie-dye, not as much. Because it's just, I don't know. I always like the pirate flag on it. I think that would have been cool. But then again, look at me. I would like something black. <laughs> I can't believe that's still going so strong. I mean, it was like last night, wasn't it? You fall asleep. Uh oh, she's gonna have another dream about Rachel, isn't she? Okay, or loading screen. I don't know why there's Illuminati there. Just because it's edgy. Uh oh. It's nightmare time, Chloe. Shit. I slept all day. No, you didn't. <laughs> I'm feeling this game could get really creepy if it wants to. And I feel like it wants to. That cloud effect is cool, though. Or smoke, I guess, not cloud. Is that Dad? Dad? Yeah. I wonder if it burned like this the day, the day it happened. Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? Might as well join in. Dream marshmallows can't make you fat, right? 
I miss him so much. <laughs> Dad, what are we doing here? I'm scared. Uh, are you trying to tell me something? Is there anything else for us to do? Not really. I wonder okay. if it burned like this the day... The day it happened. Sorry, Chloe. Didn't mean not to bring, bring that up again. Dad? I'm really scared. Not really, Dad? but this is creepy. Is there anything I different? I miss him so much. It seems like we've run out of op dialogue options. But there isn't anything else for me to do. Oh, there's a marshmallow. Do I even like marshmallows? They're not bad. Guess that's one way to do it. You don't roast them on sticks because then you get like bits of bark in your marshmallow. That is a freaking cool picture. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. What? Fire or Rachel? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. Okay, that's even creepier but than sometimes, fire. there's a greater beauty yet to come I don't know whether I enjoy this or not <laughs> fire is jealous Chloe it wants all the beauty for itself that's why you need to be careful careful of what <laughs> of getting burned Oh my gosh. That is the creepiest way to warn your daughter about her girlfriend being a little selfish. Okay, good parenting, dead dad. Sorry. <laughs> Thank goodness she's here. <laughs> Kinda light your pants on fire, girl. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? <laughs> you could start a fire. <laughs> Says the girl who literally started a fire. Don't put it out in the truck. I mean, not like it's gonna get any dirtier, so, but. Are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I don't know. I'm not supposed to give rides to strangers. What if I promise you free candy? <laughs> Hop in. <laughs> Do you have candy, Rachel? That sounds pretty good. Hmm. 
<laughs> Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A freaky red light? <laughs> Look at that little A dude. freaky? Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also going to need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? <laughs> Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone <laughs> in the history of forever. <laughs> I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Yeah, you'd be in a lot more trouble, Rachel. Pretty wild? <laughs> Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. <laughs> but now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be Golden way snitch? happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh. Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. <laughs> Therapy. <laughs> you start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Didn't she just tell you? <laughs> <laughs> that's a big truck. Well, Doc. Um, let's start dating. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. <laughs> All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Um, doesn't she call him Step Douche? He's, uh, Step Douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, <laughs> he's a douche. douche. Poetic. <laughs> May I also suggest Step Ladder? Why Step Ladder? <laughs> because... He climbs on your mom every night. Ew! Oh my gosh. And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? <laughs> Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. <laughs> Could see why. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. <laughs> uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. Sure. I bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> <laughs> Touché, Doc. <laughs> so, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. 
Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just <laughs> stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to break into a viewfinder? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. Aww. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. That was maybe a Sucks. little sharp. You blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Um... Let's talk about... The... Uh, I don't think the play's a good idea. The truck. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills. Something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot. I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Thanks for the enthusiasm, Rachel. Do you want us to talk about the play? Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit. Nice phone. It's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey. I, I was thinking that after the show... Maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something <laughs> criminal. Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Oh, jeez. Hello, Fluff. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. She also hadn't gotten out of the truck before you said that. <laughs> yeah, it's the clubhouse. <laughs> Hello, I would keep that up. Back. Hopefully it doesn't rain. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Yes, first though... Hi, Mikey. Why are you texting me? Um, I heard you got suspended. Yeah, I rolled a one against Wells. Oh, uh oh. Steph says you're a nerd. <laughs> I agree. Can I? Where's the radio? Can I turn it off? Okay, there we go. I mean, I don't mind music on, but that music's a little annoying. What we got in here, Rachel? Pack us some granola bars. A bag full of clothes. <laughs> She's saying you need to change your style, Chloe. <laughs> yes, I need those. <laughs> There's no food. 
There's no food or water. Ooh, I like this sign. Why didn't you just prop it up against the window, silly? <laughs> that would make a lot more sense. Instead of putting it on the floor. Okay, what else we got? We got a tapestry. Just tidy up our new little house a bit. Nice. Nice. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. <laughs> okay, what else we got around, a lot around here? Enough messing around. Bag time. I get it, I get it. Chill out. We'll get to the bag. Hang it up. There you go. Conveniently a nail in the cinder block. Guess that works well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm smart. Okay, let's go try these clothes on. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Frank better not show up while I'm changing. Oh, do I actually change my outfit? Um... Tarot Tower. What's the bonus outfits? So we can keep the one we have. Let's try on this one. This one looks cool. I don't know if I want to change her outfit or not, though. I like the one she's got on. Um... Let's change it. I don't know if I like that one. <laughs> I don't mind it, but I don't love it. Um, so we only have this one, right? I don't know if I want this one, but we'll see. We'll see how it looks. It might not hurt to put on something of Chloe's. I don't know if that'll change anything. Whoa, nice jacket. Where'd you get that? Um... Not a fan of the jacket, Chloe. I like the way your shirt's tucked. That's really cute. No, I'm going to leave her with the classic one. I don't mind the R Rorschach. I don't know. I never know how to pronounce that. Yeah, we're just going to go with this one. Wait, oh, no, no, not that one. Not that one. This one. Should we change into something... That Rachel brought us? I don't know. I really like that outfit so much. Um, I don't think it's really going to make a deal. A big deal. I want to keep this outfit. I like this one a lot. That is an outfit I want. So bad. Oh, Frank's finally getting in touch with us. Um... I'm at the junkyard. Okay. Sounds good. Where are you at, Frank? Left mouse button to leave. Okay, I wanted to leave. Thank you. Why couldn't I just walk out the door? I assume because of cutscene. Oh, that's his trailer. Hello? That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. She looks like a witch. Weird. Yeah, she is weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? <laughs> Christ, get your ass in here. <laughs> I should have, uh... Cut it before we got into this. <laughs> Dude! It smells like piss in here. Clean sure, though. Bro. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that woman? Ah! Uh, God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. 
Why is he driving away? No, I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? He's not taking us somewhere, is he? Okay, I'm gonna leave the game here, though. I'm gonna, um... Exit to my menu, because we just saved, so... Yep, that sounds good to me. Alright, I'm gonna leave this episode here, because it's been going for over an hour. Um, and I do want them to be a little longer, but not too long. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me for Life is Strange. I can't wait to play the rest. I'll probably play it right now and just get it all done in one because I love this game. Thank you guys for joining me. I love you all. Stay amazing and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Oh my gosh, Chloe, look at the mess you're making. But you're cute.